The ATR-72 twin-engine turbo propeller plane with 43 people on board came down shortly after takeoff. According to Russia's Air Transport Agency, communication with the flight deck was lost almost immediately after the plane was airborne. Many of the injured were airlifted to hospital. We carried them out by hand and then two helicopters transported the majority of the injured out. The two black box flight recorders have been recovered and an investigation has been launched. The investigation committee says it is looking into the pilot's medical records and focusing on whether the crash was caused by technical malfunction or human error. We have set up an operational headquarters and committed all the necessary resources. As you can see, essential work by the investigation committee, the transport police, is ongoing at the crash site. The main task now is identification and contacting relatives. UTA is one of Russia's top domestic airlines. It also runs a small number of international flights. The company says the crash seems to have happened after the pilots tried to make an emergency landing. President-elect Vladimir Putin says reform of Russia's aviation industry is one of his top priorities for his third term in office. Now these reforms include greater scrutiny of pilot training and actually grounding some of the older planes with out-of-date technology. This disaster will only underline just how urgently needed those promised reforms are. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Moscow.